As long as you're alive, guess what? People will always have different opinions about you. There are those who will think you're great. Then there are those who will think, what do you have to offer? Well, let's talk about opinions. Welcome to episode 3 of Let's Talk. If you have not watched the previous episodes of Let's Talk, go to my YouTube channel, Has Mahehu. While you're there, like, share, subscribe. Isaiah 54 verse 17, the Bible says that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you, you shall condemn. Well, weapons are formed or manufactured to kill and to destroy. Those ones, God says, don't mind them because they'll have no harm or no effect on you. But the thing that he wants you to be attentive or to pay attention to are negative words or words spoken to you, a judgment, which I will call opinions. Why? You see, the Bible says that words are powerful. The power of life and death is in our tongue. With the words we bless and with the words we curse. A perfect example of a man who was affected by negative words is Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19. Ahab goes home and tells his wife what Elijah had done. And Jezebel says, by this time tomorrow, tell Elijah I will have dealt with him. With those words, Elijah, the man who called fire from heaven and consumed the sacrifice, the guy who had shut the heavens and there was no rain, when he heard those words, what did he do? Run. Yes, he ran for his dear life. The power of words. He allowed the words of Jezebel become his reality. Contrast with David. David, in 1 Samuel chapter 17 from verse 41, his coming against the Philistine champion, Goliath. And the Bible says in verse 41, Goliath walked towards David with his shield bearer ahead of him, snaring in contempt and he asked with a loud voice, am I a dog that you come to me with a stick? He felt insulted, as in you sent a boy to fight me, as in seriously? In verse 44, he says, come over here and I'll give your flesh to the birds and wild animals. He threw words, he spoke words, you know, to David. Now, David never allowed those words to become his reality. Look at his response. In verse 45, David replied to the Philistine, you come to me with a sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Hmm. Today, not tomorrow or the day after, but today, the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you, and I will cut off your head, and then I will give your dead bodies of your men to the birds and the wild animals and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. Of course, you know how the story ends. Elijah ran for his life because of an opinion that was spoken against him. David never allowed the opinion of Goliath become his reality. What did he do? He countered the negative opinion with the truth he knew about God. Well, my brother, my sister, don't allow negative words to take root in your heart. For you see, words are like a seed. The moment they are spoken over you and they are not in line with what God says and you think about them and ponder, what did they say? I mean, how could they? You're like pouring you know, water onto the seed. And eventually, the seed becomes a tree and bears fruit and becomes your reality. Every time a negative word is spoken over you, an opinion, you know, that is spoken over your life, that is not in line with what God says, counter it and silence it with the truth in the word of God. I want to leave you with the truth that God says about you. You're the head and not the tail. They are the apple of his eye, your royal priesthood, a chosen generation, your call forth to show forth his excellence. You're blessed when you're going out and you're blessed when you're coming in. Arise and shine for your light has come. No one can dim 
your light. Don't let any negative word bring you down. Until next time, it's yours truly. Yes. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> you're all that God says you are.